so we are, of course, here at Hard Rock Hell, um, and I have to congratulate you on an absolutely fantastic set. Just hugely, hugely enjoyed it. You guys are a lot of fun on stage. That's the goal. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. if we're not having fun, you're not having fun, so we're always going to have fun yeah. is our policy. Yeah, no, I just, I really enjoyed the set. I think it was something very different to everything else that we've had this weekend. Yeah, I bet. That's good. Yeah. yeah. Hard Rock Hell. It was a lot of, a lot of long <laughs> hair and heavy metal, and we kind of showed up with just yeah. a little old school rock and roll to, you know, Wingman yeah. Blue Oyster Call tonight, so. Yeah, I cannot wait for them, actually. I'm so looking forward to seeing them play. It's going to be good. I'm going to try and steal their cowbell. That's all I'm going to tell you. <laughs> Actually, like, one of the original uh, members had lunch with us. Serious? Yeah, yeah music. Um, yeah, but you guys have been touring with um, with Big Elf and Jolly. And we how have. has that tour treated you so far? It's it's really fun. Yeah, it's uh, we get booked a lot to tour with a lot of different bands. Yeah. So it's always fun when you you have the best of the '70s and a, a bus collectively. <laughs> you know, like we sound like you know a splash of everything a little bit, and then you just have Sabbath and the Doors punch you in the face after. You yeah. know, with a little Beatles stuff, it's it's fun and. You know, mm. it, it, we, we started with Mike Portnoy. So Mike Portnoy wow. was the original drummer for the last, I think, the first nine shows. Mm. And then Damon's son, Baron, the Grizzly Baron, took over. <laughs> and uh, and he's really, he really looks awesome up there. He looks like he's just the ghost of a Black Sabbath player. So it's fun to share yeah. the bus and listen to them every night and vice versa. So yeah. Now, I saw them before. They were phenomenal. Yeah. Absolutely phenomenal. I just I could not believe how much I enjoyed them. I'm really annoyed because I've not got made it to one of the other shows, and I was just like, oh, I don't really. I've never. I just never really got into them. I saw them today. I was like, I cannot believe I have missed that tour. I was a little bit gutted. Yeah. But, you know. His hat and my hat. They hang out. I know, right? I can imagine it's like a hat party. It is. They yeah. snuggle. I think they have. Have they got a bunk of their own? <laughs> they do actually. Yeah. <laughs> when Portnoy left, there was an open bunk for the hats. So that is, that is brilliant. It's just been a lot of van shake and bus stuff. So. <laughs> Um, and yeah, how have the UK audiences reacted to you? I mean, have you had such a positive response that you think you're going to be heading back here? I hope so. Okay. The UK is my favorite country, you know. Uh, I toured out here in a different band a long time ago, played uh, Download Festival and a lot of stuff. Who is that with? Oh, who cares? I care. N not okay. relevant for anyone. <laughs> Uh, I didn't enjoy the band, so uh, we're not going to say it. Okay, then. But it was we awesome. We hate those tour. guys. I yeah. hate them for you. Uh, ugh, yeah, drag wankers. wankers. Yes. <laughs> I forget that you guys don't have that. <laughs> oh no, yeah. it's so good, you dirty wanker. You dirty shagging bastard. It's true, but oh, yeah. but I love it. You know, as soon as we showed up, it, it's just it's such more of um, such a music fan country. Yeah. Everybody still loves the right kind of music. You know, <laughs> we come from North America, where it's getting a little kind of you know, just oversaturated with the dance stuff and the, the right. pop culture and, and nobody plays live. Nobody has really? chords anymore. Just, you know, that kind of culture of the Justin Bieber and, and, and beyond. Yeah. So you kind of have that and, and rock and roll is getting a little tougher wherever we go. We go down to South by Southwest and by oh, all means we have a yeah. blast and we get a great reputation <laughs> yeah. every single time we go. But, you know, you, then you play St. Louis two days later and they don't get rock and roll. So... So it's fun to be out here, whether it's the UK or we're heading to Sweden with Big Elf a little bit. We already did uh, Spain, Italy, um, the Switzerland. So we've already done an array of countries mm -hmm. that we, we barely touched. And the reception's been insane, you know. Fantastic. We've been the fresh air, like, wow, we've never heard of you. Whoa. Well, hi, we've never heard of you. So yeah. let's, let's always <laughs> hang out. So the plan is yeah. to come back, hopefully, in 2015 and make a little more of an impact. We've been to Canada a lot, so we can skip a year in Canada. <laughs> I like that thought a lot. And like, not the skipping Canada bit, but the coming to the UK bit. I think that would be fantastic. I just I so enjoyed the set today. It's, I love, love, love discovering bands that I haven't really come across before. Just hugely refreshing. Um, and your latest album, I mean, it's been billed as everything that sums up Canada and more. <laughs> you know, I think I think people look at that cover and then they see the hat and then they think Canada. Yeah. And to be honest, it all just kind of starts as a joke. You know, I don't really think this hat is you know Canadian. Is Davy Crockett a Canadian? I suppose, right? So when you think about it, it's just like you know it was just a fur hat that I found and I started putting on, and then all of a sudden you know Dan started collecting taxidermy and and and, and, and he has like all these vintage like rugs. Do. Well, he does. He 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 collects a lot of vintage stuff, right? He actually has a business called Dan's Vintage Finds. I'm gonna plug him. Does he actually? He That's really amazing. does. He he goes on Craigslist and he finds stuff and he he do, does them up a little proper and he sells it oh. back. But he finds he's obsessed with lamps and teak chairs and a lot of little cute stuff. So whether it be Canadian or just uh, certain gentlemen's passions, uh, 
it, it kind of tied the room together when we thought of an album cover is the, the one before we were all in a hot tub in the Yukon so you guys can see us in a Huey Lewis kind of hot tub cover or you can kind of it, 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 we don't let Canada define us well, you know we've been compared to only British band Queen Super Tramp we hear Deep Purple a lot yeah, so so by all means we'll we'll look Canadian but we'll always rock the whole world the way it's supposed to be. I like that. That's yeah. a good phrase. Um, but yeah, I think looking at kind of your Facebook, you describe yourselves as like you know rock, pro pop, and it's for me. It's I don't know whether it's just because I'm coming at it from a more British side of things, but seeing a band describe themselves as pop, never have I come across that in every band that I've worked with ever that's played any kind of event like this. And is that something that you've done mm -hmm. deliberately to be a little bit out there and a little bit oh challenging, or is that something that actually wouldn't necessarily have the same connotations for you as it does for us? I think we're all big kind of pop fans in our own way, except for our drummer. But, uh, you know, me and Dan, like, honestly, sometimes we listen to rap, we listen to, like, the funniest, like, we'll listen to a Taylor Swift song and be like, well, it's not that bad. You know what, she's got a couple of alright songs. Sure, you know, we're, we're not going to endorse her or anything, but, you know, well, I'm just saying, you know, when we hear a catchy yeah, melody, no, when we hear a catchy melody, we, we find the reasons it's infectious makes sense, so we never ever... We don't get deterred by that kind of stuff. By all means, the set that we played today was a little more on the heavy side, and then we threw in, like, Things Will Get Better, which is yes. kind of more, you yeah. know, a feel-good kind of tune. But if you Google us and, and check out us on YouTube, mm -hmm. you're going to check out Fancy Pants. And Fancy Pants will be stuck in your head all day. And it's just, I remember when we wrote it, it was just a fun little jingle-jangle yeah. tune, and it has a hard ending, and, you know, it still fits in our set. Mm -hmm. We're not scared of pop. We're not scared of rock. We're not mm -hmm. scared of any of it. We just, uh, we enter the jam space and write a record and that's it we don't think of it nobody tells us how to do it we just say mm, this is what we're going to do no I like that so. I really do I think it's, it's great to see a band that aren't afraid of embracing lots of different genres and aren't trying to slut necessarily into one Agreed. It's, it's, yeah, it's refreshing um, and next year I mean what have you got planned for next year that you can't actually talk about yet you know, <laughs> it's an awkward time of year we're going, you can't things, announce you know, we have a couple offers to do US tours right. in the spring um, but there's rumors that we're going to be trying to get on a lot of the festivals in the summer out here. Brilliant. So, you know, the more people ask for us, the more we can get out here and share rock and roll with you. But that's our plan. We also had a plan to start writing a new record. Oh, okay. So, you know, it feels time. Winter, we kind of just hibernate. So that's a time where, where Dan, Joseph, and I will, will dive into the jam space and start nice. noodling around with riffs and lyrics and drinking beers and and just seeing where the winter takes us. So that's kind of the plan, is to continually conquer the world internationally, <laughs> bit by bit, hard rock hell to hard rock hell. <laughs> Brilliant, well that's what we like to hear. I'm, I'm really excited about the thought of you coming back here next year as well. That is, Me too. That is great. I'm um, really good. And yeah, thank you so much for taking the time to chat today. It You're has welcome. been, yeah, it's been a huge pleasure. Thanks for having and us. And no, any time, and I'm sure that we'll hopefully see you soon. Perfect.